Hello and welcome. My name is Space Muffin, and this is the Void Strategy. So today we have a nice Baron Rivendell deck for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going. We got Baron Rivendell with Chill of the Grave. So this gives your makes your skeleton warriors into mages, basically. So that's pretty cool. We have, of course, our Gargoyle with Wing uh, Buffet. We have our Ghoul with Taste for Blood. You could also run Bone Shield. In fact, let's let's do Bone Shield. You can do, uh, obviously we have our um, Skeletons with Cackle, and we have our Necromancer with Jeweled Skull, Chain Lightning, and then we have our Smoke Bomb. I'm gonna explain Smoke Bomb once we get into it. So the name of the game is really simple. Play the Gargoyle, play Smoke Bomb. That, 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 that's the name of this game. So let's go ahead and get a party going over here. Let's get our Skeletons going. We have the setup. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make it happen. So bam. And then that's gonna give the skeleton a little bit more speed. And then so you see as you can see the skeleton just uh, the uh, the gargoyle gets to just waltz in and just start destroying people, right? Play Baron Rivendell to back up the gargoyle. You know, really that's fine if a gargoyle dies, not a big deal. But you know, we got what we needed to get. That's that's kind of the key here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse, wash, repeat. We're gonna start mining. Okay, we've already got two of those those deals going. So our next run, we're gonna go for the tower. So ancient strategy, but it works really well. So right about now, plop that on. He gets the, the movement buff, and then he gets those extra hits in. Bam, look at that. So by the, by the time anyone knows what's going on, we've already won. So in the case of Baron Rivendell, you really got to, like, time everything properly. So, for example, like, our chests are going to pop, you know, obviously. And then what we want to do is we can actually, because he's kind of just going to ignore us, we can actually already get the the guy in. So, bam, plop that in. He thinks he's got us, but he has nothing. And then we start just moving in. We use Baron Rivendell as a distraction for this guy. And boom, we already got a tower He's got Jaina up, but by, by the time Jaina is distracted by this gargoyle, it's going to be too late. He knows that he needs to get this tower. He knows it. So what we do is we bring our forces in to prevent Jaina from doing that. Not a big deal. Let's start distracting people. He gains towers, we gain towers. The, the main thing is this tower right here so that we can get off our, um, our guy. So let's go ahead and start the mining process, because obviously we're going to need to. And then let's go ahead and put someone out to grab this tower here. So he's, he's doing great. He's doing really good. Um, let's go ahead and plop out another gargoyle. Let's wait a couple seconds. Oh, oops. That's not what we meant to do. But hey, you know what? That's okay. He's got Jaina going. He's really, really doing a lot of damage here. I think we can still come back if we play our cards right. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so, got the gargoyle. Okay, he's got this dude out, so not a biggie. We have another gargoyle on the run, so let's go ahead and really try to go for his tower. That's kind of what I want to do, so I'm going to do invisibility right now. Very good. I don't know if we're going to make it, but hey, you know what? I think we're going to get some decent hits in. Yeah, no, I knew we weren't going to make that. Okay, no worries. We have another run coming up, so let's let's do it. Let's go on a run. Let's really try to get those hits off. Yeah, there we go. So there you guys have it, dude. Close games, but we're making it happen. So there's a million different ways you can play Baron Rivendale. This, just, this is just a strategy that's pretty easy to do, but very effective. So... Um, you can experiment with your own things, you know, but as we know about this particular map, we want to control the middle. That's kind of the key. He, he knows what he's doing, so let's, uh, let's start. We gotta, yeah, we gotta control that middle. He's got his gargoyle strategy up. Not bad. Not a terribly big deal, because we're gonna start grabbing mines. So our, our gar gargoyles are gonna pass each other, and then we have the jeweled skeletons to deal with their gar gargoyles. So... Not a big deal. Got to have Baron Rivendell. We got to control that middle. That's kind of the key here. Let's start stealthing people. 
And hopefully we can get some decent hits in. Let's do some distractions. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. He's getting desperate with this. Uh... Yeah, we're, we're getting so... Like, as you can see, the gargoyle is just absolutely like, vicious. You know what I mean? So the fact of the matter is speed, right? The gargoyle, Baron Rivendell, they very quickly overwhelm their opponents. So in this map, we don't really need to worry about this tower over here. We're mainly focused on protecting our tower. So we're going to plop a skeleton out. And then let's see what he does. So he's got a nice little party going up. What we do is we just simply do that. Very good. Very nice. Very easy. Doesn't really have much on us. Okay, so for whatever reason, he put his dwarf dude out. Not a big deal. What we're going to start doing is we're going to start mining. So he who, who, he who makes the gold makes the rules, right? That's kind of like what we're going for here. And hopefully, like, they're all distracted. The real guy that they need to watch out for is obviously this gargoyle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to let the gargoyle sneak past, get that 50% in and obviously that didn't work out so we're gonna rinse wash repeat we're gonna go ahead and grab the mines we're gonna grab the chest all that fun stuff so let's go and put out baron rivendale let's go ahead and start just bobbing people very good so he's got a really good thing going here very good thing it's a very worthy opponent so hopefully i think we're gonna grab this chest here oh it's because he's got that okay good so Let's spin up a gargoyle. Okay, let's go ahead and get some distractions going on here. Hopefully we can get some hits off. That's kind of the key here. But you got to time it right. So, bam, we time it. Okay, good. So we're going to get some hits off. Let's get Baron Rivendell in. You just need a couple hits. You don't need many. And then you can bring your, your other guys in to start distracting dudes. So what he doesn't expect is number one get rid of the miners what he doesn't expect though is for us to kind of get our little party going here that's kind of the key we have the gold we make the rules so oh wow okay so yeah so he, he's expecting us not a big deal let's do that while, while they're distracted gave us a little bit of leeway so where we got we got our guy out not a big deal. Let's try to... Yeah, so we're getting hits in. Really nice. That, that's, that's the name of the game. The name of the game is just get as many hits in as possible. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm talking super duper fast because, you know, at this level, you know, you, you really got to, like, make sure that you're making the right plays. You're going to make some mistakes. Don't really worry about that too much. The main thing I want you to worry about is getting that gargoyle out you know, and not letting them mine. That's kind of the key here. When's a good time to pop the gargoyle? Yeah, obviously now. Let's get a nice little party going. Let's get them distracted. So they have all of their dudes out that are basically what's going to destroy the gargoyle. I'm going to stealth him right now. So he's got a little bit of that that stuff going on so hopefully we can pop this dude off of his rocker okay not a big deal i mean as long as we have more health than them at the end that's kind of what matters he's doing an incredibly good job so we're gonna go ahead and give him something to, to worry about there let's actually put the gargoyle on this lane and then we'll we'll hopefully we're gonna win this interaction here we're gonna grab two more gold plop out baron do that. Don't let him mine. And then my hope is that he's so distracted. Oh, yeah, never mind. Okay, so we're, we're, it looks like we've won. So once again, guys, is this the best deck in the universe? No. Is this the best Baron Rivendell deck? No. But it is simple. It is easy to, to do, right? That's kind of what we're looking for, is... Oh, oops. Me not messing up. <laughs> um, but simple and easy, right? So he's kind of, like, surveying the situation and kind of seeing what 
he wants to do. Now, I understand why he put the rock elemental out there, and that's to obviously distract us. But he's a little bit late to the party. So sometimes, like, in, during these Baron Rivendell strategies, people want to group all your guys up. Oh, oops, I... Yeah, see, I keep messing up. They want to group all your dudes up in, in, in the middle. Um, but it doesn't work against Baron Rivendell because he's so fast, if that makes any sense. And then we're able to get a Legion of Ghouls going. And then now we can, we control everything. So what we're going to do is... Let's stealth everybody. Let Baron Rivendell do his thing. Let's hopefully we can distract that a little bit. Hopefully we get some nice hits off, which it looks like we're doing. But yeah, just rinse, wash, repeat, you know. It's not super duper difficult. I lied. We're going to do one more game just because this deck is so fun. So in this particular map, it, it is advantageous to get the tower. But we don't want we want him to think that we're going for just his normal tower. That's kind of like the the vibe. We want to, we don't want to waste we want him to waste all of his units trying to thinking that that's that's what we're trying to do. So pretty basic. You know, not a big deal. Very quickly we are going to do that. And then we're going to start mining the center. So as you can see by the time he figures out what we're doing, we've already like it's too late. <laughs> So I mean, it's it, it's just it just shows how broken this uh, this guy here is. So not a big deal. He's got me Eve out. Not a big deal. Like we, we we're mining, so not a terribly big deal. And of course, we're gonna grab our mines, and then hopefully we can prevent him from mining right there. He's got the little guys out. What we do is we do that. So far, so good. So, like, he knows our game. He knows that we're trying to get that tower. And so, what we do is now we go for the other tower. We, we let him, while he's distracted with that, we kind of just go for the other tower. Very quickly, we're going to plop on the stealth. So, right about now. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, so, he's got me doing his thing. We're, we're plopping hits in, guys. Like, we're plopping lots of hits in. So, look at that. Bam. So there you guys have it, Baron Rivendale. Like I said, there's a million ways to run this stuff. Um, I chose the Gargoyle strategy. It's super easy, super simple. If you already have like a lot of undead units, you know, all you really need is the Smoke Bomb. As you guys know, I love Chain Lightning, but you could also use, you know, Blizzard or whatever you want to do. So I, I like Chain Lightning because it costs less and I can spot, you know, pop, pop the guys that I really need to pop, which are the air units are the anti-air units, so um, pr pretty basic. You know, the average cost is 2.7. Uh, there are variants of Baron, Baron Rivendell that you can do. You can run Abomination. You could do Meat Wagon. You could, there's so much stuff you can do. You can you can kind of do different variants of this, but I like to do it, like, fast, right? Like, everything else is a distraction. Gargoyle and Smoke Bomb, that's your bread and butter. So, awesome, guys. If you like this video, please hit that button. Please hit that, um, that like button, the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and we will see you in the next video.